Okay, so in our previous tutorial, we've uh, created a collection, imported an, an open API uh, file. This is the, the file that we've imported uh, and got our uh, security audit report run. Now let's drill into the report and see what's, what's inside. So security audit report is a static analysis of the open API file of the open API specification. This is the contract, the documentation of your um, of your REST API. And we run about 200 different um, checks and you can get a list of all of them um, in our API security encyclopedia. Um, so you can see that we are checking for the open API uh, format requirements itself whether the, the structure is properly uh, used, uh, whether you have, you're properly using the semantics of the open API specification requirements and, and meeting all the best practices and so on. Uh, we also uh, run different checks related to data validation and, and security of the API. Let's actually go and, and see these for that specific API that I have imported. You can see that there's overall score uh, in this particular case, I'm getting 25 out of 100. And so, out of so, if the um, Open API, if you're not using the specification correctly, we might not even be able to run all the checks. Uh, in this particular case, the specification requirements are all met. Uh, however, this is still a highly vulnerable API. You can see that about 30 uh, of the of the 100 uh, points go for security requirements, and about 70 are related to data validation. You can get a list of the uh, highest priority requirements uh, that are not being made, uh, met. So if I start fixing those, um, and I can just again go to issue and, and see that issue within the file and, and get the description and the possible exploit scenario and recommended remediation and, and, and see all of them in the file. Uh, so these are the, the priority items. So I can go section by section. Right, so we can see the issues related to authentication uh, for the API, uh, authorization, what people are permitted to do, transport, like in this particular case, uh, HTTP is allowed for the API, which is obviously bad, and all the data validation, whether I'm properly defining all the data coming in and, and going out. And again, I can go and do all the filtering and, and search uh, and, and sort by issues, uh, so obviously only related the ones related to pattern and, and so on and so forth. And uh, in our next tutorial, we'll go into the details of the report and we'll actually try to, to fix a few of those issues and see how we can get the, the score improved.